Opposite to his most recent relationships with Ana de Armas and Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck was actually a long-term relationship kind of guy at the beginning of his great career. In this video, we look into his dating history that happens to be filled with big-name celebrities too. So sit tight, bestie, because you wouldn't want to miss this tea. Ben Affleck's first ever publicized relationship happens to be with his high school sweetheart, Jay and Rotman. The ones teenagers met at the summer camp in the 1990s and their relationship lasted for seven long years. The now short film director managed to support Ben in his premiere of Chasing Amy in 1997 before calling it quits just a few months after the event. After being in love with his teenage sweetheart, the then rising actor then began eyeing on A-list celebrities. Just months after calling it off with his first love, the Bounce actor then started to date his leading lady, Gwyneth Paltrow. The two starred in the films Bounce and Shakespeare in Love and reportedly dated on and off for about three years from 1997 to year 2000. Following this romance with his lead actress, Ben Affleck then fell hard and quickly for his next co-star despite being married. I'm talking about Jennifer Lopez who was at that time still married to her backup dancer Chris Judd. Shortly after filing for divorce, Jennifer officially made their romance public, quickly becoming Hollywood's it couple. And just four months after, the talk about couple then got engaged but after two years in the relationship, the two officially called it quits in 2004. After his failed engagement with Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck then got it right with Jennifer Garner. The two first met as co-stars in the 2000 film Pearl Harbor, but it was through the 2003 film Their Devil that somewhat started their whole love story despite actually being in a committed relationship at that time. Jennifer was then married to Scott and Ben was engaged to the other Jennifer. After splitting up with their respective partners, the two stars made their first public appearance as a couple by October 2004. In April 2005, they got engaged and by June 29, 2005, the two made a big announcement that they're married and already expecting Benefer baby number one. What at first seemed like a love story to last forever then reached its last chapter in 2017 as the two stars officially filed for divorce. Now, while his divorce with his first wife was being finalized, the Batman actor didn't put himself off the market. While he was publicly dating the SNL producer Lindsay Shukas from 2017 to 2019, Ben Affleck was also reported to be having a fling in between. In 2018, the accounted star was spotted with Playboy model Shauna Sexton. The two reportedly had their little fun for just two months. Then after these two obvious unserious relationships, Ben Affleck once again found himself falling for his leading lady once again. The busy actor met Ana de Armas in 2020 on the set of their thriller film titled Deep Water. Their on-screen romance quickly became off-screen too, but then after nearly a year of being a real couple, the Cuban-Spanish actress reportedly broke things off. And after this quick pandemic romance, Ben Affleck found himself in a rekindled relationship with Jennifer Number 1. After bringing back light to their romance two decades after, the two didn't waste any time and got married in 2022. But with reports intensifying about the end of their supposedly happily ever after, Ben Affleck might find himself in another divorce with another Miss Jennifer really soon. What do you think, Pasti? What are your thoughts on Ben Affleck's dating history? Do you think this is the end of the list or the end of Jennifer Number 1 once again? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and of course please don't forget to subscribe to your social bestie for more celebrity teas updates and stories and i'll see you in my next tea upload